few minutes now. I see they don't advertise the dress code nearly as well anymore. I thought I'd be alone. Who are you? I've been following you for quite some time, Abby. You're prettier in person. How did you know my name? That would be redundant for both of us. I'm Isaac. There's nowhere to run. Well, Isaac, you don't know anything. No. But I sure have heard a lot. I'm only concerned about how you'll react to what comes next. Is that some sort of threat? Oh, stop with the coy act and loosen up. <sighs> I assume that's your wager in the bag. A bit bulky, if you ask me. I like to keep it simple. Less distraction allows me to focus on the intensity of the competition. Helps me win more. Well, Isaac, I hate to say it, but I'm going to win. I just know it. It's destiny or something like it, at least. Uh, honey, you can't quantify future events like they're physics. And besides, there's no such thing as destiny. All you can do is take control, not just sit back and hope it plays out. Harsh words for only just meeting me. And then I apologize. Besides, it's no fun for me to win if you don't stand to lose something. So what is it? What do you have on the line, Abigail? You already know. Yeah. But I want to hear you actually say it. Some would say money isn't everything. It's not like I need any more. So come on. Motivate yourself. If I don't win, someone I love will die at the end of the day. And right in front of you, too. So is it friend, family, boyfriend? The file didn't specify. No. Shame. You know, I think you and I are going to have a lot of fun together. I'll see you on the other side. This was supposed to be exclusive. Do you have any idea what I went through to come to this point? I mean, you're acting like you come here every Wednesday. Which is part of the reason why I was hired. <laughs> You'll see. All I know is I have an overwhelming feeling we're stuck inside a craft den. You know, you complain a lot for someone on a date with destiny. Only because at this point, I still haven't seen shit. I speak of the devil. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this celebrated and illustrious event. The rules are simple, and the stakes are high. But whoever wins this shall be leaving this place with two million dollars. But first, an explanation of the rules is in order. We play a variant of the Japanese Yakuza's Chohan. The dealer rolls. Then you each bet on whether it would be even or odd. One strike and you are out. No second chances, no 
spotting. No nothing. And nothing happens to us. We just get out of here? The exit is directly behind you all. Once expelled, leave quietly. And that's that. However, that is not to say that some of you do not have more to lose than others. What the hell does that mean? Many of you here can easily put up the money to enter. However, others of less fortunate means are able to barter their way in. So you foot their bill? I didn't know anything about that. Sounds a little unfair to the rest of us playing by your goddamn rules. Fairness is of no concern here. It is if you're the dealer. What's to stop you from rigging this whole thing from the start? Have your favorites win over and over as long as you get a healthy kickback. I do not interfere. It is much more fulfilling to stand off to the side and observe. No, my dear. All of you control the game. We start with the person at the end of the line. And we go back and forth. Until one remains. You are rolling, you are not required to place a bet. Meaning we're safe? Technically, yes, but only then. Do we all understand one another? Then, let the games begin. If you will. your bets. Odd. Odd. Ah! Even. It is odd. God damn it! What a waste of time! It was lovely having you here. Now please, the exit is that way. What a fucking ripoff. I said leave. Thought he was stalling? Oh, I'm just enjoying the moment. Place your bet. That would be you. Oh, sorry. Um, even. I guess I'll, I'll say. Even. Odd. Even is the winner. Now, if you all. No! No! Fuck the. Fuck it! What the hell? Now, this is how it's going. You're gonna let me leave, or I'm gonna shoot you in the face. You knew what you signed up for. But I have someone. <laughs> Jesus Christ! You missed. What are you doing? That woman left. Not much experience with that firearm. I won't miss this time.
case you were wondering, he wagered his own life insurance policy. But do not fret. We are very good at making these things look like accidents. And we were left with two. Place your no need to go into the routine. Do you want me to flip a coin? Would that help? Shutting your mouth might. You're gonna lose at your own game. I told you I was gonna win. No! You aren't. Boo! Quiet! are off, you have won. How do you do that? Do what? Don't play coy. I won the only way I know how. Did you know if you hold the six upwards and the four sideways and you use just the right amount of inertia, the likelihood of rolling a one and two is 99.86%. Simple, repeatable physics. Cheated. I took control of the situation. Same difference. Don't be mad because you didn't think of it first. Oh well. Definitely my most eventful game yet. Told you we'd have some fun, didn't I? See you on the other side. That's doubtful. Where's the money? It's all prepared. Just on the other side of the exit. And that's over there? You've seen almost everyone walk out. Where does it lead? Depends on the person. I already know where you're headed. Not many people laugh in the face of the unknown. Tell me, Abigail, do you think you'll make it? Last time I checked, there wasn't much time left. There's somewhere I need to be. Well, anyway. 